All right, this video is going to be a little briefer. I've already taken the pick cut off, taken it downstairs to paint it, and that's going to dry for a while. I'm going to take the strings off and get to work on this. I'm going to change these guys um, like I did with the other guitar. And I already got that posted up online, so I'm going to do very similar to what I did for that. We'll do much less video on this because um, you've already seen it all. And we'll get back to you once we get things in between, okay? Okay, we just got the black hardware on. Now, when I put this, the bridge on, there's a little burr on the inside of each one of these um, on the screw mounting part. Uh, I had to uh, just file it down so it would fit in there. Well, it's a little snug on here now, but I can still turn the screws and adjust it. So that'll be okay. Uh, just something I wasn't expecting. Um, on the other guitar like this, the gold one, uh, there was nothing underneath. So I'm going to take uh, nothing to allow any adjustment in this P90 pickup. So I'm going to take this off now and take a look and see what's under here. And this again is just like the other one was. There's nothing in here to allow you to adjust the pickup up or down. You have to do it totally by adjusting these screws. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is take it like I did on the other one and cut a piece of foam and put it in here. So we'll get right back and I'll show you what so I've got. got some blue foam here that I'm going to use in uh, a kitchen knife. One of those super deluxe Wicked Shop Cusinart, um things. This seems to cut the foam really well. Um, I can slice a piece of this right off um, like it's nobody's business. And it doesn't disrupt it or anything, you know, it does a really nice job of cutting. So if you got one of those super nice in your kitchen and you need to cut some foam, I highly recommend it. So, oh, I'm not done with the knife yet. So what I'm going to do is make a, a double deck piece here. I think if I just cut this in half, it'll work. Yeah, pretty much it's going to be just about right in half. So if we stuff the foam in there, we get some resistance, so it's not quite half. So I've got to take a little off to 50% off. Um, and if we put this in and layer it down, then we've got something to have some resistance pushing back against the pickup. Um, and then what we've got to do is get, make sure that the screw can pass through here without any resistance. So I may have to drill the hole in this a little bit bigger, okay? You follow me? So that this will move up and down, you know, and you can actually adjust the height of the um, pickups instead of individually. So I don't know why they didn't do that, but they didn't do that. And I had to do this on the gold one too. Right, so you know, to drill this out, what I got to do is I got to get a screw, a drill bit that the shaft is bigger than the shaft and smaller than the head. So it'll allow the screw to pass through uninterrupted. This is very close. I just need to ream this out a little bit to get a little bit more clearance so that the screw will pass through. And the only thing that's going to hold it in, <coughs> in place is the head hitting. So if we do that, let's see if we can get the screw to go through now. Uninterrupted. It's still a little small. Uh, I don't want to go with a bigger drill. I just want to try to open this up a little. It's still not quite making it. If I get past the thread, will it work? Yeah, so if I can get past the thread, which is where we need to be, it'll give us the resistance that we need. Um, I still got to do this one a little more.
You just gotta ring it out a little bit. And then this should pass through like the other one, down until we get into the head, or near the head, and then that'll pass freely. Good. So that's fine, just like that. So now all I'm going to do is screw these in. All right. And now try to scratch up the guitar. We'll see if we can push some of the wire back. Um, and get these guys to go in the screw holes. Would have been a good idea to set the drill up first, wouldn't it? But no. Okay, dummy. All I want to do is stop this one. Good. And then we'll come around and get the foam lined up. We'll get the screw lined up. And we'll send it set. All right, so I'm going to sink this right down to the tabletop. Oh, I can't because the screw's there, which is good. So it's going to work just like I said. All right. I need a stronger screwdriver. Here. See, now that's a floating bridge now. I just need a, a tether. i got to sink these screws down. Quite a bit further. I want to put them right down to the deck. So the only real adjustment would be to bring it up. Because we should be down low enough. Okay? So those are to the deck. <sighs> nice. Okay, so that's that. That's settled now. Uh, a little crude, a little rude, but done. So we'll be back in a minute, and we'll think about what we're doing next. So the next thing we're going to do is get ready to replace the tuners. I got these perloids and blacks that I'm going to put on uh, instead of what's here now. So we're going to take these off, and i got to finish putting the heads on the other uh, tuners. I got black tuners, six, <coughs> and we'll switch them around. Just thought I'd point out in the back door here, they got a nice little orange drop in there also. So this is pretty good. So anyway, the new tuners are on with the perloid and the black. All right, and I'm gonna put some black screws in the back door here. And we'll uh, flip this over and show you the tuners on the other side now that they're all done. So that's the difference instead of the chrome. A lot of fingerprints. We'll see if we can wipe that up and make it look shiny. Make it look better anyway. I don't know. They didn't seem to be totally committed to, to a shiny finish. <laughs> anyway, that's how the whole thing's looking so far. I gotta go back and close the back door and we'll finish. Oh, we're just about ready to put strings on. We changed the um, press rod cover to white. We painted it white. We painted the pick guard white with a metallic white. It's probably gonna need another coat. We'll take it off when it's good and dry and give it a light sanding. We changed the knobs to black. I was gonna do them white, but I think I'm going to stick with the black motif. Uh, I got silver buttons here. I don't know. Maybe we should go black. But we can make that decision later. Right now, I'm kind of anxious to get the strings on and see how it's all going to play. So we'll do that next. It's looking good. Looking good. I like the white. It is stark white with the black. Makes it nice. Uh, I'm just checking the pickup height. I just checked it with the, the switch and we're a little bit low. So I'm going to back off this screw and raise the pickup 
on both sides because we've got the foam under there now and we can adjust it upward. Remember I put it right down to the board and with the foam under there, it makes it adjustable. So if we drop that down, that's just about perfect on the base side. Let's try the treble side. That's still a little low. So we'll give this another turn and try to bring it up just a little. It's very tight, I know, I know, but it's the best way to make it work. And that's still a little low. Let's give it one more like quarter of a turn and we'll get the pickup height right, I think, there. That's pretty good. No complaints. And we haven't even electrified yet. I haven't even plugged it in. This side's probably a little too high. So we'll drop it down a bit on the base side. We've got that foam under there pushing it up. So it is adjustable. Oh, that's better. Okay. Now, we've got a crummy little air. Oh, I put new strings in. I forgot. I put the GHS bright, flat guitar strings, light. These are 10s. It goes from 10 to 46. Okay, the 710s. 710 goes to 10 to 46. So it's a little heavier string, I think, than what it originally came with. I don't mind. I don't think. We'll see. We'll play it for a while and see what it does. All right, and we'll turn this on to our Epiphone little 10 watt studio. And I'm sure we're out of tune like crazy. See what that looks like. Oh, yeah. Not even in the ballpark. The tuners are working good too. My perloids. Okay, let's see what happens if we try to play it. So that's the way it looks. It looks good. It's playing okay. We'll clean the uh, strings off and uh, give it a rest. Is. Hold on. The Firefly FF uh, DC S or something like that. <laughs> it's really nice. It's a Les Paul double cut. So it's the FF DC S single P90 pickup. Perloid tuners, white, white with black. Nice. Roy Orbison would be proud. Black and white. <laughs>